Hey guys, this is uh, day one of our trip from New Jersey to Mississippi. This particular day, we covered from New Jersey, Scottaway, New Jersey, to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Uh, we were originally supposed to leave at midnight, and then Spaz wanted to leave at 4 a.m., and then we compromised at 2 a.m., but it didn't matter because we didn't leave until 2.30 anyway. We uh, did pretty good on time and traffic, uh, really didn't hit much traffic at all. Managed to get out of New Jersey at about 4 a.m., which was a big moment for Spaz. All right, here we are. It is 4.06 in the morning. Yep. We left at about 2.30. The toll plaza going from New Jersey to... I'm pretty sure it's Delaware, yeah. To Delaware. The end of the turnpike. Bye, Jersey. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Not too long thereafter, we were getting a little bit tired, so we decided to try these energy beans that my parents got from San Francisco. Uh, time for extreme jelly beans. Oh yeah, extreme jelly beans. <laughs> okay, let's drop that up there. <laughs> extreme jelly beans. Should be answering. Extreme jelly beans. <laughs> got them. Start the non-extreme ones first. Oh yeah, these, these are the non-extreme jelly beans. I'll give you one. Try okay. both at the same time. Okay. This is like a beer tasting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> They're good. What They're flavor do you have? Um. Pink. Like all the same flavor. There's lemon, lime, orange, fruit punch, and berry. I'm gonna guess that was fruit punch. I think it was uh, fruit punch. So do you feel like running any marathons then? No, I feel like I feel like what I just ate was a mix of a energy drink flavor and a plastic like a credit card. No. Not a big fan. Well, having not eaten many credit cards in my time. All right, all right. The extreme jelly beans. Okay. All right. I gotta open those up now. All right. Okay. Here we have the extreme sport beans. And now we're actually officially actually, crossing into Delaware. The uh, fucking uh, the bridge. The bridge. The Delaware Memorial the Bridge. The bridge is out. The bridge is out. <laughs> Why did they take it away? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Memorial Bridge. Whoa. Uh, kept driving, uh, made our way through Baltimore still with minimal traffic, no problems really, and still making really good time. Okay, uh, it is now 5.14 a.m. There, for I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, we just passed through the Baltimore area. I don't know how much of it you could still see. The big ass church. Yes. Maybe some of the horizon of, of Baltimore back there. Seen uh, a handful of interesting things. Saw a car swerving all over the place. We were we were pretty sure uh, it was going to hit something, so we got away from yeah. it as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. Son, do you know why you're speeding? Yeah, officer. I didn't feel like getting pushed under a tractor trailer by this freaking guy. Yep. Yeah, I, would say to the I, I had to stop looking at it because whatever it was wasn't going to end well. Yeah. Uh, but we are. How many hours left till our current destination? Um, the computer is telling me that um, we're 358 miles out, or five hours and 31 minutes at our current pace. So we've taken a decent chunk off of the, the time so far. I've been driving for like two hours and 45 minutes. Time. Still, still got quite a quite a ways uh, left in this leg before we reach the next uh, bull run check mark. Yeah, exactly. And uh, friggin' um, the Lamborghini awesome. already passed us, and uh, yeah, Team Lamborghini is gonna beat us. Team Lambo passed us. That's right, because Goldberg is at the end. He's got a bazooka. <laughs> uh, he's gonna give us some ridiculous challenge. But um, hopefully, the next update will not have us describing traffic. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. 
God willing. This that would suck. Clipping along though, 30 miles to the gallon so far. Once we got out of the Washington DC area, which is where we were most concerned about traffic, um, we stopped for some gas and for some food, uh, and uh, yeah, just grabbed a couple of sandwiches from Wawa and took a quick video there. For some reason, it sounded like the world was just coming to an end. No, well, blew past DC in less than four hours, I think like three hours and 40 minutes. Nice lady inside. So uh, we're about 130 miles from the North Carolina border. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Making good time so far. Still awake. Good so far. Except for soda thing. Yeah, <sighs> we kept driving. Started to get a little bit bored as we got closer to uh, the border going in from Virginia into uh, North Carolina. We were starting to look at things like, oh, there's a really big rainstorm slash hurricane coming. I don't know why we said it was a hurricane. It was coming from the west. It is 710. We are somewhere in Virginia. Mark is this 126, 126 miles away from the border. 126 miles away from the border of Virginia slash North Carolina. And noticing how quickly the clouds are moving. And it is, it is uh, disturbingly darker on the horizon than I'd like it to be. Um, hopefully the weather. Hopefully the weather holds out for us here. I, I really don't feel like driving in the rain. Are we supposed to get that hurricane or what? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Hurricane. Hurricane, hurricane, hurricane Richard. Hurricane Rich. <laughs> Man, my dad is reincarnated into a tropical storm. He's, he's coming to get us. Kept driving. Uh, Spaz, uh, I, I passed out and Spaz is driving and he kind of lost a little bit of heart when he saw the GPS say that he, well, you'll see. Outside of Virginia here, 177 miles on this stretch. Uh, about three and a half hours left. Fish is at the camp. Continue driving. We ran into the rain, and uh, I eventually woke up so I could listen to more of Spaz's bad music. Eventually Spaz decided he was going to take a break, he let me take the wheel and I, I drove, just kind of zonked out for a while, you know, listened to my own thing, let him snooze, enjoyed my music and made good time still. So we get into North Carolina and <clears throat> for some reason, the GPS wants us to take a handful of turns once we got off of I-95. And, um, we followed the GPS to a rather odd route. So, we, uh, followed the GPS, which was, uh, telling us to go somewhere, and we followed it to what would appear to be the end of the road. Yeah. Wants us to make a left. You can't, can't really make a left there. Nope. Nope, short no road. We're not missing nothing. Nope, that's uh. Yep, that's uh. Damn sure is fucking uh. Roads closed, pizza boy. Yeah, find another way home. For the record, just to prove we're yeah. not crazy. Yeah, sure, GPS. GPS. Make a left. I'll just make a left right here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just drive through the. Uh, yeah, not so much. <laughs> yeah. No. Got back on the road, continued going, and needless to say, the weird things just kept on coming. I don't know what that is. Hold on. That's a scooter. That's a scooter. Keep going. He's... No, dude, it's a wheelchair. 
like a motorized like, like a rascal. Okay. Look, he's in the middle of the like he's dr <laughs> He's like holding up traffic now. I just hope I'm just I've had my fill for the day of crazy stuff. Yeah, oh, come on. We're going to get better than that. Oh, we are. We are. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. But right now, I just I just kind of want to just get there. Uh, well, viewers at home uh, of rocking camera. There we go. A little better. Uh, we are 20. about 25 miles away from our destination. It is 11 o'clock. Um, another railroad street. Good. Uh, we got closer to our destination and uh, the GPS again tells us another uh, well takes us on a weird journey this is where the GPS wanted me to go dude this is like sand are you fucking holy shit this remember you're riding low how is this even on the GPS <laughs> Someone traveled this road at some point and was like, yep, you can go that way. Okay. Alright, enough of your games, GPS. Those, that was kind of, the first, the dead end thing was kind of funny. That was kind of funny, but I don't want any more of that stuff. Uh, we arrived at the house finally, which I just didn't take a video or a picture of. I forgot to. Um, but uh, Garbs, which is the gentleman who we were meeting, Spaz's friend, was still at work so we uh, went out and just kind of uh, went to a mall I didn't take any pictures of that I, I I think I took a picture of Walmart yeah I took a picture of Walmart but um we went out to a mall grabbed a quick bike to eat and we heard from uh, Garbs met up with him once we met up with Garbs he took us on a tour of the Fort Bragg area uh, brought us back here to his house real quick and then we went out for dinner I uh, went to go see Jackass 3D, which was a freaking hilarious movie. It was great. And then uh, came back here for a couple more uh, drinks before everyone went to sleep. Um, Garbs is a, is a really awesome guy. Really, uh, <sighs> Garbs is a really nice guy. He, um, you know, just, just was more than happy to see us. Uh, you know, took us around, was telling us about all the... the good places to go as as our trip goes farther down south um, he has a beautiful home here just gorgeous that he got not too long ago and, and a really nice car uh, for a guy who um, you know is is not all that old is is doing quite well for himself right now so uh, great guy uh, Garbs thank you like mucho thanks for everything you did for us tonight and uh, thanks for putting us up for the night so I'm going to hit the sack and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Nighty night.